dancers and welcome to our virtual jazz dance class. I am going to teach you a jazz combination in three sections. So we'll have part A, part B, and part C. I'll start with teaching you part A, which starts off to one side. You can start on either side, left or right of your center stage. And for me, I'm going to start stage left. So we start with a jazz walk in toward the center and we go a one, a two, a three. So just three jazz walks and then one turn and bend down, down, up. So again, that's jazz walk a one, two, three, four, five, six, turn seven, eight, down, one, two, up, three, four. Yes? So we take it from the three, Four, and then we hinge down onto one arm, extend one leg long, that inside leg, and then switch to the other side. So we have a one, a two, then turn toward that inside leg, that right shoulder. Three, four, open the legs in second position. We look to the left, a five, a six, again, seven and eight. So all of that from the beginning, our part A goes a five, six, in toward center. One, two, three, four, five, six, turn seven, eight, down, one, two, three, four, a five, six, turn seven, eight. We're open second, a one, two, three, four, and then we finish part A and I'll teach you part B now. So we just had an open second and we looked left, right, left, right. Now you're going to initiate from your right arm and your left leg, and we're traveling down stage right, from like in the direction of your right arm. So we go one, and then two. The outside leg or your right leg lifts up in a parallel attitude, so we go one, two. We look back again, one, two, look forward. Three, four, yeah? So we have a one, two, three, four, and then on your third one, you're going to go for a hitch kick. So instead of an attitude in parallel, you have a grand batma, so a straight leg. So we come from a fourth position with the inside leg in front, and both arms go back, kick up, and then lengthen the, the back long. So we have an up, lengthen, and to continue part B, we just had Inside leg, outside leg, inside leg, outside leg, inside leg, hitch kick. Next, we use that hitch kick as a kick ball change. So we go out, kick ball change, turn it around, and now we're onto the floor. So again, kick ball change, turn toward the floor, and you are going to go into what's called a coffee grinder. So your left leg is extended and it sweeps around and then we lift the right leg over it. Yes, let's try that again. From the top of part B, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, kick ball change, turn to the floor. Left leg across, right leg over. Yes, now we have right leg over and we go toward the floor with both legs rolling on our back. Rolling on our back. Again, from the beginning, five, six, or from the beginning of part B. Five, six, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Kick ball change, turn toward the floor, coffee grinder, and rolling on our backs. And that is the end of part B. So we just had part B where we finished on the floor after our coffee grinder and rolling onto our back. Now we are facing the diagonal stage left and we have both feet in front of us and we come up in a body roll by articulating the spine one vertebrae at a time. So with this, be very careful. You can do a modified version of this um, if you must or if you need. Um, Make sure to keep the knees over the toes for this. So you're gonna push off of your back leg, come over the balls of your feet for this, and then body roll up, and then we turn to the right downstage corner in a passe, inside leg forward. And I want you to contract like you're in a modern 
Ba. So we have a hum and a hum. one to the right and one to the left. Then you're here and you're all set for a chenet coupe jeté, which uh, if you've ever done a calypso, it's a lot like that. So we have chenet coupe jeté. So it's going to be like a calypso. Back is an attitude, front leg is straight. Um, so we have chenet coupe jeté. And then that rolls to the floor. And the arms, the porter bra, is in a fourth position. So we have round and a little bit straighter down here. So we roll toward the floor, boom, 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 boom. And we have both knees bent here. The inside leg stays bent and we go a one. Then switch which legs are bent, a two. Then we lift that inside leg up and lift the hips up toward the ceiling, up. And then lift your hips even higher toward the ceiling as the foot falls and finish. And that is all of part C. So you've learned the whole combination. Let's review part C one more time. So we just finished here from our rolling on our back, facing down stage left. And we have rolling up in a back row. And we go to the right, one left and two, coupe jeté or a coupe, um, chenet coupe jeté. And we have a one, two, three. I'm just marking it here because I don't totally have all the space that I would have wanted in, um, in my living room for this combination. And we have a one, two, lift and extend long. Yes, so let's try the whole combination, part A, part B, and part C together. Okay, here we go, marking all three sections, A, B, and C. I'll talk you through it, we'll start slow. So, we start with our jazz walk, a one, two, three, four, five, six, turn seven, eight, down one, two, up three, four, down five, six, a seven, eight, turn one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and then seven, eight, one, two, three, hitch kick, four, five, kick ball change down to the floor, coffee grinder, seven, eight, that's the end of part B, then we go up in our body roll, one, two, passe, three, four, five, six, and we turn into our calypso, seven, eight to the floor, and we have a one, two, three, and four, and finish. Let's try it with some music, the whole combination without stopping. Here we go. This class is proudly brought to you by Evolve Dance and Performing Arts. Evolve with us.